Hello again, everyone. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate it. So the past couple of weeks, I have been kind of binge watching Molly from Molly's Artistry with her Dream Cloud series. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet Molly last year at the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida. And she is just as sweet and endearing as she is on camera. Can't help but love her. But um, this technique that she did really, really touched me. Um, I immediately started thinking of all these different color palettes, different compositions, um, and I literally could not wait to try it. So this is my test piece. This is the first time that I am trying this particular technique. Now the recipe is really simple. It's in the description. Uh, be sure and read that. This is actually a cloud mix that we're putting down now. It has satin enamel in it from DecoArt. Um, but I just could not wait to try this palette. Uh, it's Southwest Colors, which you guys know I'm from New Mexico and I love everything Southwest. And this was the first palette that popped into my head as I'm watching her do this technique. So I could not wait to try it. That's what we're gonna be doing here. And um, let's just see what happens. I'm sure I'll jump in here with some comments and some pointers, um, but I hope you enjoy the video. So sit back and relax. I'll be back in just a bit. One thing that I want you to notice as I'm pouring out the colors is I do not really pour any colors over each other. I'm pouring them all singularly on their own. And I again, I don't pour any colors into other colors. And the reason for that is sometimes when paint mixes with satin enamel, Depending on how you're doing it, it can turn grainy. Um, and I didn't want that to happen. So that's why I put all of the colors down separately. Now, the kicker to this, this is all swiping, as you can see. So what you wanna do is swipe your colors over the cloud mix, not the other way around. Don't swipe your cloud mix over the colors but um, you can go through as many colors as you want. Um, you'll notice that I'm always starting with the color and then I'm going over the white satin enamel. And the effect takes a little bit of time. Um, you can see there on the left in the manganese blue, there are some cells slash pearls popping up. Um, and that's kind of the effect that we're looking for here. So when you swipe, swipe very slowly. This is in real time. Um, you don't want to go too fast because you want to give that paint time to react. Now, even though I swiped this area before, that is a big grouping of just the red and gold, and I wanted to break it up. Now, because I'd already swiped, it carried the manganese blue underneath the red. So I figured when I swipe over it again, it will bring up some of that blue, which it did, and it will break up that concentration of one color.
Oh, ho, ho. so you know tilting is my favorite part of every single pour that I do. And with this technique, the tilting has got to be done a little bit differently than I usually do it. I like to stretch my composition out uh, generally to all four corners, see what I've got, and then go from there. Because your paint is already all over the canvas, obviously you don't need to do that. So look at your composition, look at what you've done, kind of figure out what you like, what you want to keep, just like if you were doing a regular tilt, uh, having to stretch it out, and go from there. But you don't want to over tilt um, because you, you want your cells slash pearls um, to not get too wonky in the stretching. Obviously, they're going to wonk out a little bit um, due to tilting, but um, you definitely don't want to over tilt. And making sure that you've got the right amount of paint on your canvas when you're pouring your puddles is really, really important. Um, you don't want to have to overstretch it because you didn't have enough paint, but then you don't want to tilt too much off either because you've got too much paint. So finding that fine line of uh, just the right amount of paint is a, a vital in this particular technique. Now, for being my first time trying this, it turned out to be a very cool piece, but there were just some areas that I thought we could get some more interest. So I grabbed my palette knife and made like Sarah Taylor and uh, just kind of went to town. Now, you have to remember when you're, when you're swiping the paint, you're actually swiping one color over the top of another color over the top of another color. So if you get your palette knife out and you start playing with it, you're going to see and you're going to cause those other colors to pop up. And that's what I was looking for. There were too many areas of solid color that needed some contrast, needed some interest, uh, and that's why I grabbed my palette knife and that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna tell y'all it's a good thing I live alone because I was literally jumping up and down after I got done with this piece look at that lacing that the manganese blue created on top of that red the pearls they got fluffy and cloudy like and ethereal um, I just am amazed by this technique and I have to thank Molly for coming up with it. I just love it and I will be doing many, many more of these pieces in the future. Uh, can't wait to try different palettes and um, just experiment and play. 
that's the important thing. Have fun with it. So here are the dried results. She is varnished and framed and just absolutely stunning. So, so happy with this piece. I just don't have the words, honestly. I hope you guys like it. It's almost here, guys. The Fluid Art Experience coming to Seattle, Washington, April 27th through the 29th. I'll be teaching two classes. My first class is almost full, but my second class has plenty of availability. We'll be doing traveling ring pours, and who knows what other kind of craziness we can get into. So book your classes now. They are filling up fast. You won't regret it. Be sure and mark your calendars for the weekend of April 15th and 16th. The instructors of the Fluid Art Experience will be showing you the creation of the art piece that they will be raffling off at the gala dinner. And on the 16th... Are you ready for a burst of color and creativity? Look no further than Color Arts Quarterly Educational Event for Spring. Do you mean the Abundance of Color educational event? Yes, featuring 16 artists, premiering April 16th, live on YouTube. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn some new techniques. Connect with fellow artists and be inspired by a variety of styles. Each YouTube artist will be hosting their own premieres live. Where you can ask questions about tips and tricks. And the best part? You get to win prizes in every single artist channel. Including a mega prize of a $400 shopping spree. You just need to watch all 16 Premier Live videos. Write down the secret words that form the secret phrase. Using high quality paints and pigments from Color Art will make your art come alive. Don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your skills. And win amazing prizes. Sign up now for Color Arts Abundance of Color Educational Events. Don't forget to click the link in the description. See you on April 16th, so make sure you mark the day. See you there. 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 See you there.